Hello everybody and welcome to a quick video of me unboxing my new compressor. Now this is not a sponsored video, I just wanted to share with you the one which I have chosen. It is actually the 100 litre Silent Clark compressor, uh, which is I, I think one of the quietest compressors you can buy, at least in my price range. And the reason for voiceovering this is because it was extremely windy at the time of unboxing it. Included with it are six bottles of compressor oil, and these are the ones which are designed specifically for this range of compressor, the Shush Airs. Also here is the operation and maintenance instructions. As you can see, it does look well built, but time will tell, because I have had loads of cheaper compressors in the past, not of this brand, and they have been good for a short period of time, and then they just break. So I'm hoping this will be different. All three of these have no oil in currently, so they do need to be filled up. I've just been reading the instruction manual, and it actually so it shows you that the um, the oil has to be drained every 12 months, and to do that you have to invert the compressor after removing the compressor head. So I'm not too sure how tricky that's going to be, but yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it in 12 months time. Uh, for now though, let's just get the oil put into these, and then I think it's just a case of putting the inlets on, because it currently has these transport bungs on. Uh, also in there is the nozzle to fill the oil. So that is the first job of today. It is only 43 decibels. This really is a quiet thing. That's the inlet's on. A little bit fiddly, hopefully they've done it right. Uh, this isn't a how-to by the way, this is just me setting up the new compressor. And I just want to point out again that this video is in no way sponsored. Uh, this has been purchased using my own money and from the donations which have been very kindly given to me over the years. So once again, thank you to anybody who has ever donated. This is, well, as you can see, one of the pieces of equipment that the money has gone onto. All of it, all those donations will go into new machinery and new workshop tools, so it is really appreciated. It's looking like it's about a bottle and a quarter for each one, which will leave some spare. Because in total I was provided with six. Now in case you're wondering about the pricing of this, I'll put the exact price on the screen now. But I think delivered it was 1,479. It's a good test for my memory. Well, there's one. And number two, you need to be very careful watching the sight glass. I think as soon as it comes into view, I'll just stop and uh, wait for it to come up. There we go. Okay, yep, that's good. That's exactly halfway.
Well, there we have it. That's in its resting place. At least I'm hoping that's where it's going to be. I really don't have much space and this is a good place for it because it's out of the way. Uh, you can see there's quite a bit of air circulation above it, but it's not ideal. So it's just going to be a case of reviewing it, making sure it's not overheating. And uh, yeah, go from there really. Anyway, the instructions say to run it for 10 to 15 seconds with the air outlet open. The moment of truth. The outlet is fully open. Let's see how loud it is. Wow. That is so quiet. I am so impressed. That is ultra quiet, although it is very difficult to tell how loud something is on camera. Uh, but just imagine a quiet compression and halve it. <laughs> Unless, of course, you already have this one. So I'm now going to run it fill the tank. I've got the quick connect on. Uh, let's see how long it takes to fill. It was about five minutes, so not the fastest ever, but still a huge upgrade, because what I used to have was not only slow, but it had half the tank capacity, and I could get through that in in a minute when doing sandblasting. It was nowhere near big enough. It was just 50 litres. So this is double that. Um, and also, interestingly, despite it being double the capacity, it seemed to take more than double the time to get through it. And that was what it switched off. So, yeah, I'm not too sure what that's about. So that's really good. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. I uh, just want to say once again, um, thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. And I will have more restoration videos coming up soon. I'm working on them. They take a long time. As I've said, don't have much space, so it's always very tricky. Uh, I try and have two on the go, and that's even more difficult. But, yeah, um, next restoration, hopefully early spring. But there will be more, more videos before then. Will it run videos, quick repair videos, that sort of thing. So there we go. See you again soon.